Welcome to CBS 2018 in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Marco Serrato, who is from Monterrey Tech in Mexico. Dr. Serrato, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, this uh, symposium. It's all about capacity building. What do you think are the skills required for digital transformation? Well, I think this is a key question. And in order to answer it, I think that such skills should be uh, classified in two main veins. The first one is what is usually defined as the hard skills, where when we speak about artificial intelligence, uh, new technologies, uh, virtual reality, big data, et cetera, all of these new technologies require new skills that uh, uh, allow individuals and organizations not only to use these technologies, but to develop new applications and new things that empower them and the organizations to work further on them. And the second thing is not only hard, but soft skills. And I think this is the, these are the, the, the most important ones because technology is changing so fast that in order to be able to take advantage of such technologies, it's not only about the hard skills, but what is defined as the soft skill. Uh, creative thinking, uh, collaboration, uh, resilience, just to mention a few. Such soft skills are crucial to face the different challenges that we have as individuals, as organizations, and as, society as, a, society as a whole. And how do you think we can work together in order to prepare tomorrow's workforce? Well, I think that it's a work that has to be uh, uh, developed not only by uh, individuals, but we have this the, 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 the triangle in between academic institutions, higher education, and at lower levels as well. But there's also uh, private firms, organizations, and the government. You cannot think about any of these three edges by, uh, by themselves. We need collaboration in between uh, all of them. And while thinking about them, I think that we must think about four different dimensions for such, for such skills. As individuals, personal development, uh, creating more awareness on the context, also on uh, improving the kind of relationship that we have with others, cultural intelligence, being able to uh, a network with other individuals, not only in your ge geographical context, but worldwide, and also in terms of processes among organizations. Now, I know you were a member of one of the panels today. I wanted to find out from you, what have been some of the key takeaways that you've heard from the conversations here? Well, for me, one of the main takeaways, I, I would mention two, actually. The first one is, uh, this triangle in between, uh, on the collaboration in between the different parties, I think that uh, we have to be able to create a society, this kind of crowd working in between the different parties. It, it, it will not happen if you just have uh, uh, academic institutions, organizations, or government. You must have a strategy. Any of these parties may start, but if you don't have the other parties on the ship, it's not going to work at all. And the second takeaway that I will also mention is um, that given this pace of change, this uncertainty that is taking place in our context, uh, we must be aware that, first of all, yes, it is uh, about lifelong learning, learning throughout life, but we already know that. The other edge is about life-wide learning. And we mean, what we mean by that is it's important to be learning throughout your life, but not only through the things that you learn at, at higher education institutions, at a school, but also what you learn throughout life, out of the classroom, and how to keep track of that, especially for the soft skills, I think that is crucial. I know there's been a lot of exchange of information here, but I wanted to ask you, why do you think a symposium like this is important? Well, this symposium is, 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 is crucial, and it's, I think it's a key initiative uh, uh, to help, again, not only individuals, organizations, but society as a whole, because it's not only about thinking, reflecting, sharing ideas. But the most important thing is about placing uh, seats for action on what has to happen in every different country. Regardless, you are an emerging economy, you are a developed country, all of us are into this new digital economy and society. So we'd better act on that. And this kind of event allows us to present these seats for action that are a must nowadays. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to be here, and, uh, and thanks again as well for being here at the symposium. No, thank you so much for having me here. It's my pleasure.